after losing to a loss of connection, I've got to try to. I've got to. I've got to do another one, man. So let's try again. Go until I lose. Frank Welker. That guy sounds familiar. I think he's the voice of like Optimus Prime or something, and he's in everything. Uh, well, for me, I'm going back to bandless. No bands, Alan Fifty Eight. Uh, we're in the Polar Express. I don't know. I gotta bring the energy back up. Gotta get the demon. Okay, Polar Express. Uh, I've seen this like 20 times. I came out at the at the right time for it. I was in elementary or middle school, and at Christmas time we'd be watching it. Infinity War. I'm gonna take it to like a ghost world via Scarlett Johansson. Uh, ghost world, Thora Birch. Uh, Steve Buscemi, 2001 indie movie, very good. Pretty popular in this. I can't get out of Ghosts in the Shell, personally. Um, so I'm going to play it under the skin here. I might have walked myself into some trouble start off. Uh, Ghost in the Shell, I know that I've played it before and people have gotten out and they've taken me to the wrong country. So it, it does scare me a little bit. Uh, Home Alone 2? Florence Pugh. Midsummer. Sorry about that. I thought Julie Louis-Dreyfus was in it and I was like, what's Julie? She's in Christmas Vacation. Julie Louis-Dreyfus is in Christmas Vacation. That's right. Uh, but yeah. Uh, from Black Widow also has Florence Pugh. Uh, Midsommar, she's in Dune Part 2. Don't worry, darling. Go Olivia Wilde. Booksmart. Dune 2. The ultimate kill shot, you know? Wonder if you can get out of Dune Part 2, Alan58. You really like Avengers, don't you? I'm gonna steal this guard's guard kill shot opportunity. Paul Bettany's in Dogville. Uh, in the last video, so many people were trying to take me to Dogville. The whole conceit of Dogville is uh, Thor. Chad Dennings. The whole conceit of Dogville is, like, you're in a city, in a small town, but rather than there being buildings, it's just a bunch of chalk outlines on the ground. So people are living their lives. And in reference to the last video, Juno, written by Diablo Cody, can go to, can go to Tully. But yeah, it, there's just a chalk outline on the ground with, like, all the buildings labeled. So, like, people are acting like they're in their home. But really, everyone can see each other. So the movie t uses this to its advantage and, like, there's a rape in it. Uh, and it's everyone who's acting on the set can see it, but they're all acting like they can't because of the, uh, you know, suspension of disbelief of the movie. Office Space. Rod Livingston would be great. Isn't Drive. Cake. <laughs> I don't know anything about this. This movie. The Breakup. Game Night. I've seen Game Night. Uh, I know Cake. There's also like Dumplin'. There's a bunch of garbage Jennifer Aniston movies. Red Eye. Wes Craven. Oh, that the the ad for this this movie is hilarious. Uh, I could go the wind that shakes the barley, but then I might die. Twenty eight days, twenty eight days later. By Killian Murphy. Yeah, he's in a movie called The Wind That Shakes the Barley, but very spooky. 
uh, Drake and Josh go to Hollywood. <laughs> That's where you go from Merry Christmas, Drake and Josh. Does Mean Creek go to Euro Trip? I, I gotta go for the Josh Peck kill shot anyways. I'm going to Havoc. This movie's got Josie Gordy Levies. It's got Anne Hathaway in it. If you don't know, look up Joseph Gordon Levitt, Havoc. What? What? Joseph Gordon Levitt and Havoc. He's doing like a. He's doing like a Rastafarian accent, and he's like a thug too. And he's just like dancing around, like looking like Tom Waits with his hat, and he's like face was all dirted up. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. So I know that uh, this 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 bitch has uh, Julie Andrews, so I can get to the Sound of Music. I guess Princess Diaries is not where you want to be. Beginners. I'm ready for you to die, Alan58. I'm sorry. I'm going to Down With Love. You gotta, you better know this has Renee Zellweger. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna find yourself in... I'm, I'm sorry to tell you. You're gonna find yourself in Perfect Sense. Perfect Sense is a sci-fi romance movie starring... Shit! Apparently, Ewan Brummer, uh, and uh, Eva Green is the other lead, and it's uh, it's about humanity all starts losing all of their senses, and they're like two of the last people who who don't. Uh, but yeah, T2's train spotting. You know, we've. We've maxed out Ewan Bremer. We've... Gosford Park gets you out of some sticky situations. But what can get you out of the water horse? Do you know Emily Watson? I think she's going to be in the, the Dune Prophecy prequel that's coming out. It's also got Brian Cox in this bad boy. We all know Brian Cox is in Super Troopers. Oh. Uh, City 2 Nerdle Battles, man. It's just such a goofy movie. Uh, a goofy game. Uh, the Water Horse is just like a... It's a PG, like, family movie about, like, the Loch Ness Monster. Uh, and I just know it's got... It's got those two. Linda Carter, Jay Chandra Zakar... I mean, I think I gotta just go to, to Manhunter again. Alan58, like, do you know this says Dennis Farina? I know it's got Dennis Farina in it now. Mm -hmm. Didn't know Miami Vice. Miami Vice 2006, so... I don't know who's in Miami Vice 2006. Directed by Michael Mann. I mean, where are you gonna? Yeah, Collateral. So this has uh, Tom Cruise. It's got Jamie Fox. Brain fart there. You got Jamie Fox going to They Clone Tyrone. I'd also go to the Fan Duel. Uh, the fan duel ads, Ray. Take on a little Regina King path. I don't know if I had any good Jamie Foxx kill shots to begin with, but now you're stuck in If Deal Street Could Talk, the follow up movie to the guy who made uh, by Barry Jenkins, the guy who made, uh, what's it called? I need a Lawrence Fishburne. I 
the, the guy who made Moonlight, Barry Jenkins, made uh, Field Street can talk. So now I'm in Lawrence Fishburne. We've got The Colony. And then... I know this has Bill Paxton in it as well. This is a really garbage movie that came out when I was in high school. And whenever something comes out when you're in high school, you'll never forget about it. So you got The Colony, The Matrix. Like, uh, from here I can go to Carrie Ann Moss. I can go to Wachowskis. I'll go Joe Pan Joey Pants and Carrie Ann Moss together to Memento. I don't remember what my Lawrence Fishburne kill shot is anymore. Tinette. Tinette. Go via its star, John David Washington. Conan. Amsterdam. Are you ready for this? Do you know who Timothy Oliphant is? Do you know who Timothy Oliphant is? Or is this the end? If you were a 45-year-old woman, you'd know who Timothy Oliphant is. But unfortunately, Alan 58, it appears you don't. I'm sorry to inform you, you have lost. Alright, good game, Alan 58. That's, that's one. <laughs> I'm a little upset about the... The loss from earlier still. Uh, so yeah, I have one loss here, but it's I lost connection until the time went out. I was even like getting the the time lifeline locked and loaded to to boost me up, but it was too late. A movie called Love Actually. You might have heard of it. You might know some people in it. Guest 1-8-0-7-7-0-4-7-2-5-8-4. Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Not a bad choice. How about Pokemon Detective Pikachu? By Justice Smith. He, uh, if you've seen uh, Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves, if you haven't, it's fun. He plays like the, the wizard guy who just needs to believe in himself. Motherfucker, where are we going? Tokyo Godfathers? Son of a. Let's go. <laughs> okay. I mean, if they skip, right? Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. How, how do I get out of this? How do you get out? Time to it. Do I start spamming? Akira, old boy. Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, Kiki's Delivery Service. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Brr. You have used your skip. It's nerve-wracking, dude. 
How's Moving Castle? Yeah, that's not Christian Bale, brother. I don't, I don't know how this is going to go. I'm going to get dropped on Hayao Miyazaki, Princess Mononoke. In the American movie... Okay, in the American voice version of it, uh, it's uh, Minnie Driver is in that. She plays the love interest in uh, in Goodwill Hunting, and oh yes, Yu-Gi-Oh, you try. You brought me there. My name is Jeff. Oh, it's Jeff, all right. Instantly, instantly they took me from Pokemon Detective Pikachu to Pokemon the movie. They knew their anime. I don't watch anime at all, but I knew it better. And now they're dead. <laughs> okay, about time, going second. Oh! Oh, man. Burr. This is some stressful stuff. Suicide Squad. Joel Kinnaman is in uh, the RoboCop remake. So why not... Uh, why not go to the RoboCop remake? I mean, I would have been able to get out of RoboCop 1987, only Matthew, but... You wouldn't know that. You know there's The Suicide Squad, right? Like it's gonna have Joel Kinnaman in it? That's for some of us to know, I suppose. Eduardo Scissor hands. Um, can I do Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice? Nah. I can get a Winona Ryder kill shot. My brain, it just turned off. I'm sorry. To the rum diary we go. It's very embarrassing. I'm I'm aware. I'm aware. Pineapple Express. She she's gonna get into Godspeed, you black emperor, and she's gonna forget about me. <laughs> or uh, uh what's the line? I uh, she's the high school girlfriend of Seth Rogen in that movie. So let's go to an American pickle. Just because Like, this has Sarah Snook in it. I'm not, I'm not messing with that, right? All you gotta do, you just gotta name a Seth Rogen movie, right? Like, I'm being, I'm being nice. As nice as I can be. You don't know who Seth Rogen is? Okay, so from here... Let's go to a Youth in Revolt. A little bit of a Michael Sarah detour. See how, how much they're paying attention, how much they know. Boy. He is a boy. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. You know what? Let's 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 run a little movie back. Run a little Jason Schwartzman. Uh, as before with Klaus, the Christmas movie. This also has Rashida Jones. Googling Gary. It's got J.K. Simmons. It's got a great rating on IMDb as well, but it doesn't matter. 
That was too much for Mr. Incredible. It's time for your secret identity to become your only identity. About time. I'm going first. Harry Connick Jr. Harry Connick Jr. He's apparently in Independence Day, 1996. He's in a different movie than this one. <laughs> I was thinking about the wrong movie. He's also in The Iron Giant, which is something else to use. Very interesting. Taken. This has Famke Janssen. If we got Famke Janssen, I'm got I'm gotta go to Rounders. One of the most famous terrible accents in movie history. Uh, John Malkovich playing Teddy KGB, a uh, Russian poker player. His tell, I don't know if I can tell you this, it was something with like Oreos, where like every time he's like lying, he eats an Oreo or something, and it's like really obvious and stupid. Stick to a lucky number 11 via Josh Hartnett off of Oppenheimer. I know you see Oppie, and you're like, did you or did you not play a Josh Peck movie because it makes you laugh? This time I did not, okay? I went to lucky number 11. We got 3, 1, and 8. They're not going to know who Josh Hartnett is. Yeah, they're going to pull out a, uh, what's it called? Oh. Keep it nice and easy. I know that lucky number 11 has got Morgan Freeman. Now you, got, now you see me, you can get out of here anywhere. If you go to the art of self-defense, I'm going to poop. I shall not poop. The Shawshank Redemption, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie via Clancy Brown. He's a prison guard, if I am, if I remember right. He's in the Shawshank Redemption and the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Black Widow. Doesn't this look familiar? Is it? it says uh. Just to show you that everything's still ticking, still clicking. Earlier we saw Enemy at the Gates. From, uh, we answered through Jude Law. And it's not Joseph Fiennes. It's either Joseph Fiennes who's the other one, or... I'll think about it. Let's put you in a little trouble, right? You 2 extra yourself on the mummy, I'll give you the mummy returns. Steven Summers sounds familiar, but really, in there, all we got is, uh... You got Brendan Fraser, if you want to get out. The George of the Jungle, perhaps? Maybe The Mummy 3, then I know I can go to The Wrestler. I don't know, I've seen the first Mummy movie. The first Mummy movie is very good. It's fun. His, his character is amazing, uh, Brendan Fraser. He's so chaotic. Like, he's just got crazy eyes, and he's like, this this man can die at any point, right? You're watching you're watching uh, Harrison Ford, Sean Connery, in Indiana Jones. You know that they're never going to die. They're never in danger. They're always, like, near death, but, like, he's too cool. He always gets out of it. Brendan Fraser's all sweaty. He's got, yeah, he's, he's got crazy eyes. He, he, all of his decisions are made in, like, the spur of the moment. The instantaneous life and death type stuff it's a it's, it's a fun character all right about time yet again richard cordery spots a ligand yazier via the tooch Look at that little movie 43. John Tucker must die, huh? Oh, this is Paul Giamatti. It's got Paul Giamatti. Taylor Kitsch.
Is this how I go down? To June verse? John Tucker must die? This can't be it. Brittany Snow sounds familiar too, man. Freaking Brittany Snow. It's not a great Vin Diesel pick. It's got Samuel L. Jackson connected to it. What would have been a better one? Boiler Room, I think, would have been a good Vin Diesel. I'm, I'm playing on the back foot, man. I got I to gotta fight this guy to death. I got to kill him. All right, let's kill this guy with hammers. You know what I'm saying? Basic. Bob. John Tucker must die. I'm not happy. A million ways to die in the West. I'm playing reindeer games again. Which of my Charlize there and Kilby? Right now I feel like the old guard it's recent people don't know it very well she's in that thing you do directed and starring tom hanks you doing that thing you do Breaking my heart into a million pieces Like you always do When the sun When the sun is so I can't help you doing that thing you do <laughs> Oh my god What the fuck is love and basketball? That's uh the title track love. That's a legitimate loss right there. I'll give you a good game, you, you MF'er. Newsies. I knew that that had Christian Bale in it. That sounds so familiar. Okay. Well, this one I at least died legitimately. Somehow, or, okay, who's Brittany Snow? An actress from... Oh, she's in the... She was in one of the, the Oscar-nominated shorts this year. She was the star of... Uh, it was Red, White, and Blue is what it was called. It was in a, a short about abortion. And uh, it was not very adeptly made. That's, that's what I'll say about that one. It was not very adeptly made. Love and Basketball. Omar Epps. She's the director... They knew the director of the old guard. And they went back to love and basketball. What a move, man. And they knew John Tucker must die. I mean, this was a... That's a hard pick. I was thinking about Taylor Kitsch. I thought they were in that movie Monster Trucks. Taylor Kitsch. I, I said monster trucks. Oh, that's the John Carter guy. That's the John Carter guy. What's the name of the kid in monster trucks? Lucas Till? Yeah, that's not who I was thinking of. Either way, 
my ELO is 1061 now. It has gone up, but yeah, that's this ranking is pretty poor for me. You could see I got best win streak 35. Like I'm a uh, I'm struggling here so far. It seems like, but it feels good to be back. Hope that you all have a great day. You deserve it. I'm glad to go out on a legitimate loss and not a fake one. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. See ya.